Hello, I'm Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of tips for preventing, identifying, and treating high triglycerides. Tip number one. It's important to understand what triglycerides are. They are fat particles that float around in your blood. And here's an example, a picture of uh, where they would come from in your diet, a big cheeseburger coming into your stomach here, triglyceride going into your blood vessels. There it is right there. So triglycerides are fat particles that float around your bloodstream. And the recommendation is that they stay less than 150. So that your triglyceride levels above 150 need to be treated. And why do you treat high triglycerides? Because it reduces your risk of heart attack. Tip number two for treating high triglycerides, oddly enough, tip, smoking does not increase your triglycerides. But if we're talking about lowering your risk of heart attacks, you absolutely need to prioritize smoking cessation. You must quit smoking. Really, it's the most important thing you can do for lowering your risk of heart attacks. So it has to be included in any talk about lowering your risk of heart attacks, though it does not particularly reduce your level of triglycerides. So tip number two is to quit smoking if you smoke and to don't not smoke if you don't smoke right now. So quitting smoking is extremely difficult to do, but there are many ways that your doctor can help you quit. So talk to your doctor about quitting smoking. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. Tip number three. This tip does relate in particular to high triglycerides and it's one of the most important things you can do to lower your triglycerides. Keep a healthy body weight. A healthy body weight means a body mass index or BMI of less than 25. The way to find out your body mass index is ask your doctor. If you are able to use the internet and you know your height and weight, you can also figure out your body mass index by going to Google, typing in BMI calculator, and then putting in your height and weight. Your goal should be to have a body mass index of less than 25. If your body mass index is greater than 25, then you're overweight and you should lose weight. And losing weight will lower your risks of heart attacks as well as lowering your triglyceride level. Tip number four is to lower your blood pressure. Like smoking, lowering your blood pressure does not lower your triglycerides directly, but it is an extremely important way to protect your heart. So it's important for me to mention it when we're talking about lowering your risk of heart attacks. The goal blood pressure is less than 120 over 80, and you should, be ha you should get your blood pressure checked by your doctor at least every year. If your blood pressure is greater than 120 over 80, there are many things you can do to lower your blood pressure to this goal. Ask your doctor about more information. Tip number five is to limit carbohydrates and foods with a high glycemic index. I have written down some of the most important foods for you to avoid because these are some of the most popular foods in the American diet. It is important to limit eating these foods because they are high in carbohydrates, they have high glycemic index, and cause high levels of triglycerides. These foods are potatoes, which include french fries, any kind of bread, which includes pizza, soda, pasta, and white rice. Limit these foods as much as possible. Tip number six is to limit alcohol. Alcohol can have both negative and positive effects on the heart. And the positive effects can be obtained if you limit the amount of alcohol you drink. If, you're, if you eat, drink too much alcohol, then you can experience the harmful effects of alcohol, which include raising your triglycerides. If you have a history of alcohol abuse in the past, you may decide to stay away from alcohol altogether and that's probably the best strategy. But if you don't have a history of alcohol abuse, 
then it's safe to drink two drinks a day of alcohol if you're a man, one drink a day if you're a woman. Tip number seven, if you have diabetes, it's important to control your blood sugar level. Your blood sugar level is um, relates to your the level of triglycerides. If you can control your blood sugar level, you can also re lower your triglycerides in your blood. Diabetics should aim for a hemoglobin A1C of 6.5%. Hemoglobin A1C measures your average sugar in your blood over a three-month period. It's a single blood test, and it's very important if you're a diabetic for you to know your hemoglobin A1C and to get it tested regularly. Tip number eight is to eat at least two servings of fish, especially salmon, each week. Salmon is a great example of a fish that's high in fatty acids. The two in particular are DHA and EPA, and they are very effective in lowering your triglycerides naturally. If you don't think you can eat two servings of salmon a week, then you can, as an alternative, take a one gram fish oil tablet, which contains DHA and EPA. Tip number nine. If your doctor, if your doctor recommends it, you may need to take a medication to lower your triglycerides, especially if you've tried to lower your triglycerides with lifestyle changes and they're still high or if you have a history of heart disease or kidney disease or another or other risk factors for cardiovascular disease like diabetes or an abdominal aortic aneurysm the two recommend the two medications i recommend are a statin and a fibrate Generally, I recommend statin, and in particular, I'll mention pravastatin 40 because it's a generic medication, and it, so it's cheap, and it tends to have less interactions with statin medications. I recommend pravastatin 40 if your triglycerides are 200 to 499. If your triglycerides are 500 or greater, then I recommend that you take both a fibrate particularly phenofibrate 200, both because it's generic and because it has less interactions with the statins. I recommend that you take this, this pravastatin and the phenofibrate together if your triglycerides are greater than 500. And tip number 10, believe in yourself. Tri having high triglycerides is common and it can cause an increased risk of heart attack. But I've discussed some effective ways for you to take control of your health and lower your triglycerides. I hope these tips have been helpful. Thank you very much for listening and have a great day.